this is Kim's Beauty from 10 Sigma. Welcome to another great school year and starting Transition Tuesdays again. Today I'm going to be talking about student-led IEPs. This is a very important topic and I'm going to switch over to a short slide presentation to share some information. Student-led IEP meetings. In this video I will discuss what are student-led IEP meetings the research benefits of incorporating student-led IEP meetings into your teaching practice, and some tips to help you get started. Before getting into the what and the why of student-led IEP meetings, I want to ask you two very important questions. Do your students know and understand that the IEP process, and in this case, the transition process, is to design the best plan for them based on their informed decisions to help them be successful in school and adult life, which means meeting their post-secondary goals, and that leading their IEP meetings is a big part of the process. In order to answer these questions, we first must consider if we encourage students to become involved in their IEP meetings to their greatest extent possible. Do they even know the IEP is for them? Do we allow students to help decide whom to invite to their IEP meetings? And do we give students opportunities to be responsible for their own annual goals? And in the transition process, this also includes their transition services and courses of study. Now that you've thought about your students' involvement in their IEP process, Let's discuss the real meaning of student-led IEP meetings and that it's more than just the meeting itself. In a student-led IEP meeting, the student actively takes part in their IEP transition process to their greatest extent possible. Before the IEP meeting, the student gathers information about themselves, prepares materials to present to their IEP team, and practices. During the IEP meeting, the student presents information about themselves, including their need for special education, their wins, which are their wants, interests, needs, and strengths, their post-secondary goals, and any accommodations or modifications they might need. After the IEP meeting, the student works on completing tasks, transition services, and courses, and mastering annual goals within the allotted timeline. Why is it important for teachers to incorporate student-led IEP meetings into their teaching practice? Some of the research benefits include that students and teachers report that students using this process knew more about their disabilities, legal rights, and appropriate accommodations than other students. Students gain increased self-confidence and the ability to advocate for themselves. There is also a correlation with increased graduation rates and decreases in inappropriate behaviors when using student-led IEPs. Research has also found that a student-led IEP process has resulted in increased parental participation and communication with school staff. Parents attend conferences at increased rates. Students assume greater control of their academic progress and accept responsibility for their academic performance. Parents, teachers, and students engage in open, honest dialogue. Students learn the process of self-evaluation and how to advocate for themselves. And last but not least, students develop organizational and oral communication skills. Since it's the beginning of a new school year, it's a great time to incorporate student-led IEP meetings into your teaching practice. Here are some suggestions for getting started. Think about your student's level of participation. For some students, this means they can lead the entire meeting. Others may be able to share some key information about their plan, or they could share their post-secondary goals and strengths. Some students may be able to introduce attendees and answer questions from the team, while others may be able to participate using prompts and or assistive technology. 
Remember, a student-led IEP meeting means that the student participates to their greatest extent possible. Next, start with two to three students. Start at the beginning of the school year. Get administrators and parents involved and plan for developing a process and teaching the necessary skills. As you prepare for having students lead their own IEPs, create a system that you can use with a variety of students. Use templates to teach the students and guide the process. You can make a template for a student scripts or an outline, an IEP portfolio, PowerPoint presentations, a vision board, and remember to use a rubric to communicate and guide the students on the expectations that you have for them leading their IEP meeting. Lastly, here are some suggested steps and the sequence in preparing to use student-led IEPs. Collaborate with colleagues. Review all available resources. Identify students and talk to their families about the process. Teach students about their rights and their IEPs. Schedule time for students to develop their presentations and schedule time to help students practice. For today's bonus, I'll be sending you links to information, resources, and templates on student-led IEP meetings. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you use this information to help your students be more involved in their IEP process. Be sure to check your email for the bonus we just sent over. If this is the first time you've ever seen an episode of Transition Tuesday, click the link below to receive the bonus. Be sure to like and share the video and leave a comment or suggestion for a future episode of Transition Tuesday. Have a great week. See you next Tuesday.